Okay, today we're gonna to be talking about using my new favorite expression in After Effects, loop out. Hey, what's up? My name is Brent Fierce from Cineblur.com and today we're gonna to be applying the loop out expression in After Effects. And we're gonna be applying this to the position parameter. Now, expressions are one of those things like they're not, like they're not super exciting to talk about, but after you start using them and you implement it and you're like, oh my gosh, these expressions are amazing, then you're like, yeah, expressions are exciting. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Specifically, we're talking about my new favorite expression, the loop out. Basically, this expression loops your keyframes, right? It's very simple, but there are some modifiers you can throw in there to do some other cool stuff. So I'm gonna try to make this somewhat simple and quick. Let's do a little animation, you ready? Let's, let's make a little shape. So here's your first keyframe, and here's your second keyframe. And uh, let's do a little arch as well, right? So it's like boom, boom, that's it. That's all this animation is. Very simple, boom, boom. By the way, if you want a smooth arch, don't do multiple points, right? Don't do multiple points and then try to smooth them out. That'll, that'll never look clean, that'll never look smooth. Just do a start and an end, and then just drag your handles out and you're golden, okay? So that's what we're doing. Boom, boom, right? It's a little bouncy ball, boom, boom. Now, if you want this bounce to just keep looping forever until the end of the comp, here's what you do. Loop out, now since that's two words, the second word has to be capitalized. Loop out, parentheses, and quotes, and then you're gonna do your modifier. By default, the modifier is cycle. So if that's empty, just treat it as a cycle. It's gonna be the same thing. Now. Let's see what our two keyframes looks like now when we play it. Look at that, right? It's looping forever. Now, this little arch isn't very exciting because that's obviously not a natural bounce happening right now. But if we were to do like a figure eight and you would literally just do your first figure eight and then loop it, this is what it would look like, right? It loops forever and ever and ever, right? It's pretty cool. Now, going back to that first bounce, now let's add a modifier in, inside those quotes. So let's do loop out, parentheses, quotes, and then in there we're gonna do ping pong. Now you can probably guess what this does. It's gonna ping pong back and forth forever. Let's check it out. Look at that, right? We're animating with two keyframes. That is exciting. That gets me, that gets me excited. So that's ping pong, that's a good one. Uh, another one is continue. Okay, so we're gonna use loop out, parentheses, quotes, continue. And that will basically take your velocity of your last little keyframe and it'll continue going. So again, this isn't gonna be very exciting in this example, but it's gonna look like this, right? That's loop out, continue. Now for my favorite, this one's called offset. Loop out, parentheses, quotes, offset. This one basically takes the value of those keyframes and wherever it ends, it's gonna start them at that new value. So you have a bouncing ball, it'll look like this. And it bounces and bounces forever, right? So if we started over here, we do just A and B keyframes, and then you add your expression, loop out offset, it's gonna look like this. Look at that, that's incredible, right? We did that with two keyframes, okay? And then when you do this, you could also do your scale, right? Start your scale small, and then when it gets big, get big and then small and then big and then small and then add a loop out offset to the scale property and you'll have a nice little bouncing ball action with just two or three or four keyframes. It's fantastic. And also the good thing about this is that if you were to go back and want to adjust this bouncing ball, like maybe the bounce was too far or it wasn't far enough, if you wanted to adjust it, all you have to do is adjust those two keyframes and then it fixes the entire rest of it right? It's fantastic, right? So loop out is my new favorite expression. Also, very similar to loop out is loop in, okay? It does the same thing where you're taking two keyframes, but instead of duplicating it in the future, loop in will duplicate it in the past, okay? So, so if you have this bounce at five seconds in your comp, the first four seconds, it'll also have this bounce. Okay, and it'll end on that if you're doing loop in offset. So just basically take everything I talked about on loop out and apply that to the past, and that's what loop in is. And by the way, it's okay to Google expressions, okay? Don't think you have to like memorize every expression in the book. I Google expressions all the time. 
like I kind of know what I want to do, but I'm like, oh, what was that word again? Or how do you type it out? Or how do you spell this? You know what I mean? It's okay to Google expressions. I can't tell you how many times I have been to Dan Ebert's website and copied and pasted expressions from his website. So it's okay to Google expressions. Anyways, that's loop out. That's my new favorite expression. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.